one of the great features of iNavX is the ability to download and use the NOAA raster charts of U.S. waters at no additional charge. Unlike some of the chart subscriptions that you can purchase for use in iNavX, the raster charts from NOAA won't automatically scroll from one chart to the other as you sail along or scroll through your uh, through your charts as you're making plans or plotting a route. So one of the things that I plan to do in this video is to show some ways to uh, make it a little bit easier to use the raster charts scrolling from one chart to net the other. And we're going to start here with uh, the Gulf of Mexico. This is from the US uh, USA East uh, section of the NOAA charts. So in case you wanted to uh, take a look and see what I've done. Now if you look at the chart you'll see uh, near the upper right corner is a minus sign button and on the left side just opposite is a plus sign button. These are important for uh, zooming in on some charts that zoom, uh, but uh, they also will help uh, in getting to charts of different resolutions when you're looking at uh, these raster charts. So if I wanted to go to a lower resolution chart, which would be a chart that has less detail and covers a wider area, I would tap the minus button on the screen, and I'm going to tap that right now and it prompts me with a menu item. The only chart that's available is the world chart. So I'm going to tap that so you can get an idea of what the world chart looks like. This is the only chart that comes with iNavX. All other charts must be downloaded. Now if I wanted to see one of higher resolution, um, it doesn't actually give me that option from the world chart. So I'm going to go back and select uh, by tapping the charts item in the upper left hand corner I'm going to go back to USA East and back to Gulf of Mexico and I'm going to scroll back over here to Florida now again looking at the Gulf of Mexico chart in the USA East I'm going to tap the plus button on the left side and that should prompt me with a different menu now these charts are all higher resolution than the one that we're currently looking at uh, and which means they have more detail and cover a smaller area. So if we were to pick any one of these we could take a look at what they have. So let's just pick first of all the Straits of Florida and approaches. Now to scroll or to zoom in on these you use a pinch uh, or reverse pinch on the screen. These are built into iOS, the gestures. To move a chart a little bit you just put your finger on it and drag it. And As you can see we can get in very close to various parts of this chart. Now if we wanted to get a higher resolution chart even than that we can uh, take a look and see what is covered uh, from where we are by tapping the plus. It looks like I've tapped a chart that I haven't downloaded yet so it's prompting me to download this chart. Uh, if I say yes it's going to start the download. I'm not going to do that this at this time. I've got another video on how to download charts if you'd like to look at that. So back to the Gulf of Mexico by tapping on it. I didn't go back. Gulf of Mexico. Here we are. Now if I just scroll in nothing really happens except I just get closer to the uh, chart 
this doesn't give me any indication where any other charts are. There is a way in the chart settings to take a closer look and see what other charts cover the area that I'm looking at. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the chart settings. And to do that, we tap the gear icon in the upper right hand corner when we're looking at a chart. And that brings up our chart settings. There's lots of things here that uh, can modify the way the chart appears. In this particular case, I want to scroll down to show boundaries. It's the second to last one in the list just above the gray bar that separates out the Navionics charts specific settings. But here it is, show boundaries. And uh, I'm going to tap the toggle the show boundaries item on. Now when I'm finished with my settings, I'll tap done. And now you can see there's a significant difference in the chart. What show boundaries does is puts uh, red line boundaries around where all the other charts are in the bigger scheme of things in charts. So if I needed to look at a particular area, for example, I'm interested in uh, Tampa Bay. If I tap inside the Tampa Bay uh, box here around the, the boundary there, one of the items in the menu that appears is to uh, open up the Tampa Bay and St. Joseph Sound chart. Now it could be that I've never downloaded this before so it's prompting me to do that and I'm going to go ahead and do it this time and it doesn't usually take very long to download just one chart if you've got a good strong internet connection and then it should go ahead and open the chart back up. So here we are with that larger chart that uh, the greater detail chart, uh, higher resolution, smaller area and you can still see that there are the boundary markers so there are other charts that are even higher resolution than the one we're looking at. We can see that if we tap the plus item we could go to uh, a different chart here. There's several charts uh, that are available for tapping on the chart in the boundaries that are not available here. If we tap the minus button, we see some of the other lower resolution charts that are available. So if I want to In this case, uh, there is more than one chart that I can tap into. And if I were on, say, this chart right here, I'm going to tap this guy. The Tampa Bay, Port Ritchie, Tampa, Clearwater Harbor. It's probably going to prompt me to download it because I don't have these yet. We scroll out just a little bit we can still see that there are chart boundaries here so if I were sailing along and let's just say I was here at this waypoint right here and sailing down here and I wanted to sail to I need to show my waypoints So there's my waypoint. If I'm sailing along here and I wanted to get to somewhere farther off the chart, for example, I want to go to the next chart because I'm going out to uh, this area and then I'm going to go down this way. And I'm going to go off the chart. When I get to waypoint 0006, uh, I don't uh, I can't go any farther without scrolling to the next chart so as my uh, 
position icon approaches this area, what I can simply do is just tap in to inside this barrier here, this boundary, download the next chart, and keep moving along. So let me find that waypoint zero. There's my, my waypoint right there on the next chart. And I can keep sailing along down here on the coast of Florida. And uh, at the next uh, next boundary, I could I could. Uh, but now you can see the the boundaries of the charts that are here in this nautical diagram up in the upper right hand corner. Now there are several boundary markers in here for other charts. I'm not going to continue downloading them. I think you may have the idea here of how to use these charts. One thing that if you're plotting a, a course or planning a route, you may uh, want to, uh, as a matter of fact, you would want to download all your charts that you're going to need for that route before you leave uh, an area where you have access to the internet. These uh, Downloading these charts requires internet access. Once downloaded, they're on your iPad in iNavX and you don't need to download them again. So download them all before you lose your internet access and then you can scroll from one to the next using either the minus or plus keys uh, or using the uh, uh, tapping in the within the boundary of the next chart if you show the boundary markers in uh, the chart settings. If you found this helpful, give me a like and subscribe to Jim Sales.